In this video, I will show you how to deploy an ASP.NET Core web application on Microsoft Azure. Then, in the next video, I will show you how to create an SQL Server database on Azure and how to connect this application to the database. You can find the video link in the description. So here I created this simple application that uses Razor Pages. Let's run the application. And we obtain this page. Now I will show you how to deploy this application on Azure. Then let's go to Azure Portal. And then we need to create a subscription. So we can click on Subscriptions. And here we can see that I created this subscription. Then we need to create an app service. So we can select app service. And if you don't find it, then we can click on more services. And here we can write app service. Then let's select it. Then let's create a new service. So here let's select web app. Then we need to select the subscription. So this is the only subscription that I have. Then we need to select a resource group which will be used to create the invoices. So here I have these two resource groups, but we can create a new one if you don't have any resource group. So we can click on create a new and let's call it resource group two, for example. Then OK. Then let's provide a name to this application. So we can call it first app 100, for example. Then let's select code and here let's select the runtime. So I'm using .NET 9, so let's select it. Then here let's select Windows, we can also select the region. So I will select Central US. Then let's select the pricing plan. So I will select the free plan. Then next. Let's click on next again. Then next. Let's click next again, then next, then next. So here we have a summary of the service and you can see that we will use the free plan. Let's click on create. So here we can see that the deployment is in progress. And now we can see that the deployment is completed. So let's go back to the portal. And here we have the created service. So to find all the resources, we can click on all the resources. Then let's click on this service. And here we have the domain of the application. Let's click on it. And here we obtain this default application. So now we need to deploy our application to Azure. So let's go to Visual Studio. Then here let's make a right click. Then publish. Then let's select Azure, then next. Then let's select Azure App Service on Windows, then next. So we can see that I have this window because I'm already connected to my Azure account using Visual Studio. If you are not connected, then you can click on the login button that should be available just here. So this is the subscription name, this is the resource group, and this is the created application. Let's select it. Then finish. Then let's click on close. Then let's publish the application. And here we can see that the web application is published successfully and it is available at this URL. Let's go to the browser and let's refresh this page. And we obtain this application. In the next video, I will show you how to connect this application to an SQL Server database on Azure. You can find the video link in the description.